What's going on guys? Welcome back to some Assassin's Creed Origins. I don't know if I'm going to be posting this video or not, but I did want to record the ending of this Bayek's Promise quest. So here goes nothing, and I'm going to go to the Great Sphinx. I think that's how you pronounce it, because I feel like something else is going to happen, but it is cutting, so I'm going to no. find every stone circle, the Sphinx and Pyramids too, and I'll find my place. My son. Your name, Hemu, means Egypt. And like Egypt, you are forever changed. The stars are yours now. Oh, was that? Was that actually it? Find an interact. Okay. Oh, never mind. So interesting. I thought something more, like I guess, effectful would happen. But I am gonna go over to the Great Sphinx really quickly because there is a little question mark there, which. Still haven't found out what it is, but I feel like it's it's like a secret thing tying to the whole bias. My I'm probably not the first person who found this, but I found this on a complete accident, and you could basically uh, change uh, by its uh, hair, facial hair, which is pretty cool because I really don't like how he looks like this. So if you hold R R two and hit triangle, you could uh, switch out his beard. And if you hold L2 and hit triangle, you can switch out his hair. Which is pretty cool. So let's get all the way over to the Great uh, Sphinx. It should be right there. I need to get right there. There we go. But, uh, this is probably going to be a really short part. Probably like less than 10 minutes. So. And I'm probably going to finally get the achievement the to get to uh, to complete all the little areas. Okay, so hidden the entrance. hidden entrance is right here. So let's get it. I am going to be re releasing the Trials of Anubis stuff and uh, the Trials of Solbeck stuff as well. I probably like right after this video, I'll post uh, both both of them. Ah, dead end. Uh, dead end. Into here. Thank you. There must be a way forward. Ah, okay. Fell in a hole. So I stumbled upon this area during the playthrough that I made, and it was quite intriguing. And oh. coming up onto it. And when I came here, all these stars, or all these lights weren't here before. But ever since I aligned all of them. Okay, so let's interact with all of these. I'm going to leave a little map area thing, or like screenshots of showing where all 12 of these stars are. So let's check this out. Right, interact. This is not Egyptian. All right, this is getting really cool. I don't. Oh, geez, here we go. Slot down. Oh wow, hello. What is this? Oh, is this the final little uh, location I didn't discover yet? Holy, this place is huge. Area discovered. Activate the ancient machine thing. Where is it? Obviously, there's these little thingies, little glass shards that you can pick up. And 
it's the thing should be up here. I've never been here before, never seen anything like this. So there it is. Alright, let's activate it. Place 50. Okay, usually it's place 5, but this is place 50. Uh, little, oh, jeez. Winding. Oh, I got an outfit! Okay, new, uh, new armor. That's pretty cool. Let me check it out really quickly for you guys. And where is it? Here it is. Oh, it lights up. That's pretty cool. What does the hood look like? Oh, hello. That's a pretty sweet armor set, I'm not gonna lie. So I think you have to align all the little machine things in order to unlock this, so that is pretty cool. But other than that guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the little map with all the stars, and I might throw in all the machine areas as well, just because it sort of ties in with it as well. But other than that guys, that is gonna be the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, like I said before. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.